Hello everyone, uh, Smithfuck here. For those of you who played Bird Adventure and enjoyed it and is waiting for more Ruggo, I'm here making a sequel. And as you can see, this is all the stuff that I have made so far. And I figure I should uh, make a devlog uh, to cover uh, even more of the development stuff. Because with Bird Adventure, I actually had devlogs, but they weren't that consistent or I didn't do a lot with it. And that's mostly due to uh, time and location constraints. Like, I don't really have a good recording environment that often, so... But uh, for uh, reasons I will not say, uh, that has changed, so I'm gonna see if I can do more consistent development uh, videos. So yeah, as you can see, this is the sky level. And I have already made a tile set and some backgrounds. And for a better look of a background, here's this. And I'm quite proud of it. I'm quite proud of it. Yeah, English. And as you can see, oh my god, I ruined it. Hold on. As you can see, this is uh, this is just every just about everything that I can show for, for the time being. And the reason it's a sky level is because uh, I want the sequel to take place in the sky. And I think it's probably a good time to like segue into the scope and the plans I have for the sequel. So Burden Venture is a one dollar game with seven levels in them, and that's because uh, I didn't really have a plan, like an exact plan for the adventure. For an interesting uh, note, I actually wanted to just make three levels and have it be a free game on each die or something, but I ended up making way too many levels. Like uh, there's seven of them, so I feel like it would be like way too much of a waste for it to be free. So I ended up like charging one dollar for it on Steam. For the sequel. How many levels do I want for it? Take your guess. Okay, ready for my answer? Uh, I think for my uh, for the ideal amount, I think I want to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, 8. I think I'm gonna have 8 levels for now. But Frog, Smee Frog, Smee Frog, you have all this intricate you have all these intricate mechanics up your sleeve, and you decided to just up for making 8 levels. Why? I mean, if you play Bird Adventure and you assume I could probably make a hundred more levels around the same mechanics, then you'll be correct. Absolutely, I agree with that sentiment, but you also forgot to take into consideration that there's also stuff like assets that I have to make and especially especially the music that I'm not necessarily very good at and takes the longest amount of time to make and I kinda don't like it when like a lot of levels uses the same theme like, I don't want it to be way too repetitive so I opted to just have as little level as possible and there's also one more thing to note is that uh, I've been making games for nearly a decade and something I learned that is instead of trying to uh, make something big, I should do I should instead think about how to do more with as little as possible. And that's why uh, even future entries of Fraggles Adventure would be probably just about as much as World Adventure if not a little more. And I think for this video I also want to briefly showcase uh, my spreadsheet and what I have so far in it. Just the basic uh, gist of uh, everything I have so far. And there are stuff I want to talk about uh, in the future videos so I don't want to talk about them yet. But just quickly skim over them and you can uh, take a look. So you know there's these bubble objects that basically propels you forward if you shoot it in the opposite direction. 
and I decided to bring it back, but uh, I decided this time that it should be like a fruit, and I think I'm gonna call them bubble berries. You can see this is a cloud tile set, and this is the water tile set. You have no idea how much, how powerful I felt after making auto tiling, but also for them to be a frames of animation. Like it feels so powerful. And you can probably see that I've also made some enemy sprites already, but I'm not gonna talk about them yet, just yet. And I think that's about everything I want to show for the first video. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next step on.